Whoa! What the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey. Lied to me! Manipulated me the entire Come time! Whoa, whoa, look, 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 clearly I'm missing something here, but Patrick, have you lost your mind? What's going on? Ask him! And while you're at it, ask him how he and Britt manipulated me, conspired against me to pass off his baby as mine. Slot B. There is no slot B. Sabrina, you graduated first from your class from nursing school. You can put together a changing table. Oh, I hope you appreciate the things I do for Britt's baby, Patrick, because I swear I could deck whoever wrote these instructions. Stacy, can you get me two ice packs? Thank you. I'm not sure where you're getting your information, but I promise you, Brad did not sleep with Britt. He gives new meaning to the phrase boy crazy. You know what, Felix? I didn't say slept with her. There's another way to get a woman pregnant, isn't there, Brad? <sighs> Just don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't Patrick, what are you saying? I'm saying you're right, Felix, the entire time. The baby's not mine. It's not? Britt told me everything. How for an exchange for a promotion, you made a donation to get her pregnant? Well, I hope you enjoy it. This little song and dance between you and Britt is over, finally and forever. Is it true? Did your demon seed get the bridge pregnant? Done! Only, are there supposed to be leftover parts? Oh, welcome home! Emma's fast asleep and I managed to get the changing table ready for the... baby. You were right. What you and Felix are right the whole time. Wait, what are you talking about? Bert was lying. I'm not the father of the baby. You swore to me that as far as you knew, Patrick was the father of Britt's baby. I know what I said. You swore to me that you didn't know what was going on with Britt and her crazy mother. Look, Felix, I... Damn it. I, uh... I, I, I need to take this. By all means. <sighs> nice you to give a guy a heads up, Britt. If I had any idea it was coming to this, I'd have warned you, okay? But my back was against the wall. Patrick threatened to take my baby away. I had no choice but to tell him you were the father. I don't understand. How can, how can it not be your baby? We ran... Ran a DNA test? Yeah, for all the good that did. Okay, so then we'll run another one. And What's we'll... the point? Right? Britt and Brad are just gonna fake it like every other test they did. I swear to God, if I wasn't at the hospital, I would've... I would've hit him again. You hit Brad? Didn't hit him hard enough. Okay, Patrick, tell me exactly what happened. They lied, okay? Britt was lying the whole time, and Brad's just as guilty as her. Brad is the father of her baby. You, you just made my life a hell of a lot more difficult. Yeah, well, I think you've been more than fairly compensated. It's not like I'm asking you to have any role in this kid's life. Oh, is that supposed to make me feel better? Well, if it's any consolation, I just torpedoed my own love life along with yours. So, Patrick wants absolutely nothing to do with me. Yeah, well, I'm starting to get how he feels. I don't want to hear it, Brad, unless it's an answer to my number one question. Are you or are you not the father of Rich's baby? Yeah. I am. I can't believe I fell for that sob story. I felt sorry for you. I almost... Almost what? Forget what I almost. You went along with Britt's story that Patrick was the baby daddy. What else do you lie about? Was that touching tale about you being bullied in high school a lie to soften me up? No, Don't even. True. I'm not going to believe a word out of that mouth again. At least I know I was right about you all along. So here's the deal. We work in the same hospital, but you don't look at me, you don't talk to me. We keep our distance from now on. I need you both in exam one to assist with a PBSC donation. Thank you. Mr. Wells, I want to thank you again for what you're doing here today. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm just glad I can help. Yeah. Wait, let me tell you what's gonna happen. Nurse Dubois is running two IV lines. Your blood is gonna be removed from one arm and passed through the machine, which separates out the blood-forming cells. The remaining blood will be returned to you via the other arm. Our lab tech, Mr. Cooper, the gentleman with the soon-to-be black eye, will be monitoring the equipment at all times. Any questions so far? Uh, no. Good. 
As soon as Nurse Dubois is done, we'll be ready to roll. I can't believe this. I mean, I can because Britt is a liar and Brad is a snake, but how could they do this to you? You wonder why I hit him? Here, let me get you some ice for your hand. No, you're not fine. Look, I'm not saying that I blame you, but you can't just go around hitting people, okay? Especially not at the hospital. What if Brad presses charges? Uh, let him. They played me. They made me think that, that that baby was mine. They made me believe that... Damn it, they made me believe that I was going to be a father again to a little boy and that I wanted to do better by him than my dad did by me and that, that my dad did by Matt. I wanted to be there for him. I wanted to be supportive of him. They just lied to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everything was a lie. Everything they told me was just a It doesn't change how you felt or what you lost. God, I guess there's one good thing about it, I guess. I guess Brie will be out of our lives for good. I'll take the stairs. 